Okay, good morning everybody. More adventures from the parking lot. Yeah, the parking lot era of Dr. Freedom. It will go down in history. No, it won't. Um, oh, there we go. Ah, don't ask. <laughs> don't tell. Um, all right. I was Putin. Um, remember, folks. Yeah, put you know, someone say, oh, you misspelled it. No, I don't. Um, like someone once said, it's somebody I used to, you know, tune into their stuff. Instead of saying put your spectacles on, they'd say put your skepticals on and keep them clear. Because remember, today is April 1st, which means you're going to see every type of malarkey, every type of horseshit from anybody who thinks they're being witty and all that. Oh, look, I'm so funny. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And it'll be fake headlines all over the place. And I don't know how many people have come to me on April Fool's Day and I have to tell them, um, it's like, I'm not being mean or anything, but I'm like, uh, look at the date on the article before you start screaming, you know, the sky is falling and, you know, going nuts, you know, like running around screaming around the village like Chicken Little. Yeah. Things like that, you know, all these pages do this and they, you know, sadly there's some folks out there, you know, who are so eager, you know, to finally get, you know, whatever announcement you're going to get that, you know, they, you know, they literally just go crazy and it's like they start believing everything they read. And remember, like I said, today's April Fool's Day. So once again, a reminder, don't believe anything you see or hear out there on Twitter, Facebook or whatever. You know, float your boat. Now, everybody's like, how come you ain't on all these other services? I said, because I would have to post the same thing a hundred times. You know, between, you know, everyone's like, Instagram this, why you call it that? I'm like, yeah, I have an Instagram page, and I don't really post on there you know, all that often. Um, every now and then when the mood strikes me, I'll throw something on Instagram. All right, Fatty Al Sayed did what? I'm sorry, it, it popped up there and then it disappeared. That's the only thing I don't like about doing these on the phone is the fact that, you know, you have to really watch those comments when they come up quick because, you know, they're just, you know, they're only, they're only like that big and it's like, boom, they're gone as fast as you can read them. Um, there, there was a yeah, story going around that Fatty Al Sayed had been cast, you know, for a while there and it's like, Please don't tell me that's true, you know. You, you, even if it's April Fool's Day, don't even joke about that. It, it's not, you know, anything against the actor. It was the show that they were on. I, I really don't even want to be reminded of class. You know, that one mighty attempt, you know, that Doctor Who made it as, you know, or the BBC, I said, made it a spinoff. And they put it, you know, okay... Okay, he was at Bad Wolf Studios, and people are saying it's for Doctor Who. All right. Um, I hope not, because class is just something that should be left in the past and forgotten. And it's not necessarily because of the actors and all that. It's, not, it's just the fact that, you know, Patrick Ness, you know, it was all his thing. He'll probably throw a stink about it if he was one of his characters. And also the fact that, you know, it was just really mishandled. You know, oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm not kidding. I didn't want to describe how it was mishandled. Okay, it was like mishandled in the way that you, you, you trusted, you know, a newborn baby to an octopus. Okay, it, it was mishandled in every way it could have been. And it was like, oh, I, I can't lie on it. I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I'll go off on a rant. I know I will. <laughs> but, oh, what a... Oh. But class is in the past, and, you know, sadly, you know, instead of doing what they should have done in the first place, you know, now I'm kind of glad they didn't have Sophie Aldred in the first season, given the fact that, you know, how it turned out. Oh. Uh. 
It's like there's such a thing as suspensive, you know, suspension of you know, belief and all that, suspension of disbelief. But when you see things that are just outright, you know, out there, you know, you just can't dismiss that. Uh. All right, so once again, yeah, April Fool's Day. This happens every year. I used to put up a cute little video every year where I just do something silly, do something dumb, but I'm like, why waste your time? You know? Oh, all right, so happy birthday on Sunday. Thankfully, that's one of the few days I won't be working, even though they're actually investigating that possibility. You know, all the things they do to save a buck these days, it makes me sick. Like, right now, we could have a couple of shifts on doing what we're doing, and there'd be no need, you know, to have everybody running around here nine hours a day, six days a week. But, no, it's cheaper just to work the crew you have. Hell, I've already, like I said, I can't really discuss much, you see, because we're basically signing NDAs now. I'm not going to go into that because I can get fired. Oh, gosh, the First Amendment's dead. The fourth one's on life support. <sighs> but also, yeah, Doctor Magazine came out. A lot of interesting stuff in that. Um, if you drift around online, you know, look up like hashtag Doctor Who on Twitter. Also, there's a lot of very good images coming up. Now, I don't know what's going on with the YouTube community page, but I've noticed that when I'm putting photos on there and I go visit them on the desktop, it's clipping the photos the same as it does in the preview image. And no matter how many times I click on them, it won't bring up the full image. Yet when I bring up the community page on the phone, it's working perfectly. Go figure. But yeah, um, a lot of y'all, you know, like I said, the doctor's outfit, rather interesting for this upcoming episode. You know, of course, you got Yaz and Dan out there. And I'll you know, see John Bishop in a you know, pirate garb. But a lot of people are seemingly forgetting that this is not going to be Pirates of the Caribbean here, okay? This is Chinese pirates from a much earlier era, if memory serves. Um... And of course, you know, they'll probably have some things up about Asian stereotyping. That, you know, that seems to be the new thing. You know, people picking on like Talons of Wing Chiang, which aired back in like, oh, let's see, 77, I want to say. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because that was, yeah, that's right. That was Louise Jameson's first year. So it would be like 77. Yet, you know. It's a racist stereotyping. Hmm. It's like, no, they just didn't have any Asian actors available at that time to do the role of Lee Sin Chang. Ugh. But everything has a secret hidden ulterior motive. Like, hmm. Like I said, folks, remember. April Fool's Day, don't buy any of the headlines you're reading. Well, I'm, I'm hearing what they're doing is they're doing something similar to what they did with Cad Bane over on uh, Mandalorian. Um, it is an actual mask, but some of the features and animations been done with CGI, such as speech, eye blink, things like that. And from what I'm hearing from some folks who've been taking a close look at it, it's looking pretty good. But then again, <laughs> I could roll out a painted green stuffed model of Big Bird, and it would look better than the Merkina from Warriors of the Deep. Uh, I'm not kidding. Oh. I could take a few old scarecrows from the backfield and stick real dragon masks on them. And they'd look better than the Sea Devils did in Warriors of the Deep. Oh. And also, somebody brought that up. There, those dreaded Asian looking you know, like Chinese uniforms or samurai uniforms, Japanese. They were terrible. 
and Warriors of the Deep. Oh, God. And it's just, like I said, there's such a thing as suspension of disbelief. But when you see what's supposed to be a steel door fall over, and you can obviously tell from every point on the planet that this is a styrofoam door or a foam door. Because oh, it's actually flopping all over the place and bedded. You can tell this, you know, what they were dealing with budget-wise. Not to mention the Ingrid, infamous Ingrid Pitt Kung Fu fighting with the Merca. Oh. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? Oh, man. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah, I wish it was not as good as it is. Oh, God. I, I think I had more comedic moments, but... Like I said, well, it was a great story. It had a stirring ending. You know, like I said, it just, it was, oh, goodness. Uh, you might as well put some of the seg you know, segments with the Merca, the Silurians, and the war you know, the Sea War Devils. You know, speed them up a little bit and put it to wackety sacks. I'm not kidding. It was, oh. Not to mention, yeah, the, you know, guys are sitting there plug it away and they got these sparking things going off on their nice you know whatever proof armor and yet they these these creatures have heads so big <laughs> they're at point blank range why are you still shooting for the center mass when you know that's not working and you got a head as big as a stop sign coming at you Ugh. Oh, goodness, Warriors of the Deep. There's a memory that you know, will never go away. It's a pain that will definitely linger. Oh, well, folks, I just realized I got a couple minutes to go here and I got to run in. So, <clears throat> one last reminder. It is April Fool's Day. Don't believe any headlines you read. Don't believe any stories you read. Yeah, like I said, don't believe any... 14th doctor announcements that are said today or any of that because like i said you know it's april fool's day just sit back relax and enjoy the ride and pray that april 2nd gets here you know that much faster when hopefully the internet will shift back to whatever state of normal can be considered normal so take care everyone be kind be calm be careful be safe but remember most of all We'll hopefully see you in the future, all right? So take care, everyone. Have a good morning.